Those are the heads? Yes. Nice. Where did they come from? They come from the, Baba's head. That's Baba's heads? Yes. Uh, or where did they come from? Where did I take this off from? The Corvette. The Corvette? Nice. You know your stuff. Thank you so much. Oh, you're welcome. All right, let's get the timing chain cover off. What it looks like. There's a bolt right there, 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 and one down here behind this tensioner pulley. So I'm just going to remove this real quick and uh, so I can have access to that. You know, you fixing stuff? Okay. All right, well, there's the 15 millimeter right there on the AC pulley. And it should come out pretty soon. So once I remove that, I just remember that I actually bought a new replacement pulley down there. So I'm just gonna take that whole thing out. It's a 13 millimeter, and uh, it's gonna get it removed. The whole pulley. And the whole pulley's up. So now, just time to remove the timing chain cover. It's just 10 millimeter uh, bolts right there. Okay, so I was trying to figure out how to show this to you, whether to show it to you um, while it's still mounted or not, but there are 10 bolts, you can see 2, 4, 6, 8, the 8 from here are highly visible, but what you don't see are these 2 from the bottom, which they're in the mounting points, so you're going to have to get underneath the car and unscrew those two to get this entire cover off. Uh, the bottom pieces right there, I mean, they were just completely covered in oil, so there's really not much that I could have done uh, to show you where those bolts were. But, uh, yeah, I think you get the picture. You can see the hole right there and the other hole right there. Let me actually point to it real quick. That one and that one. So now I'm going to get the oil pump off and time to chain and I get the cam out all right so I went ahead and loosened the oil pump screws I removed the bottom two but before I continue on I am gonna set this thing to top that center there's a marking right there and there's gonna be another marking once we spin it around on the crankshaft down here so uh, I'm just gonna put the stock bolt back in and Turn it and get it, get this point to go all the way around and to the bottom right there. Okay, screws back in there. Time to put the socket back on. And once we start turning it, as you can see, it rotates. So I did shift out a fourth gear for this so that I can turn it. Okay, we are getting near slowly. Notch right there. There we go. Let's take a look. That's pretty much perfect. Also, if you look at the, if you're looking at it from here, this piston. I mean, it's it's completely flat. So, we're at top dead center. Okay, I did have to turn it just a couple more millimeters. But, you can see that right there is matching up with that one. That one has, I don't know if you can see it or not, but it does have a notch on it. Right there, on the side right there, if you're looking for it. So yeah, also if you look at this piston, it's even more smooth than before. Alright, so the oil pump's not coming out because it's attached to that pickup tube. It's another 10 millimeter that we'll have to remove, which 
just be careful as hell not to drop it in there. I think I'm just gonna put something right there, so just for extra security purposes. Once that's removed, I'll apparently wedge a screwdriver in between and separate it from the oil pump. And then we're we'll able to yank the oil pump out once that tube is separated. So let's get to it. Okay, just to show you guys what I did, I removed that bolt that was right there. And to prevent it from dropping into an oil pan, I just had a piece of plastic that I just wedged right there. And then I worked on it with a wrench and then removed it with my fingers once I got down a little bit looser. But uh, yeah, just something to help me out a little bit. So let's see if I can wedge something in between there and get that oil tube out. Okay, so luckily I didn't have to wedge anything in there. I just literally grabbed the oil pump, twisted it a little, and it just popped out. At that point I just grabbed this with my finger, pushed it down slightly, and it, it was good. All right, let's see if we can see this top dead center. See that notch now? It's a lot easier to see. As you can see, it's top dead center. All right, time to start removing. Yes, those three bolts, and start taking the timing chain off. So I went ahead and made three markings on here. One, two, and three. This is just for my sanity. I'm not claiming to be an expert by any means, but at least I'll know exactly how this thing is on in case I drop it and the timing chain comes off of that gear once I remove those three bolts. So also I think it'll help me when I'm putting on the new timing chain uh, to help position everything properly before I reinstall it. So that's that. Let's go ahead and get these three bolts out. Okay the bolts are three 10 millimeter bolts and as soon as you unscrew them or loosen them you can unscrew them by hand. So this last one I'm going to go ahead and use two hands so that it doesn't fall down on me. Once you take the third one out, you'll quickly realize that it stays there. So you just have to pull it out. There we go. Timing chain is out. I actually zip tied it to here and we're good to go. Let's take off the cam retainer plate, which is held by these four 10 millimeter bolts. Okay, bolts are out. And the plate. If it doesn't come out this easily, just push it with a screwdriver a little bit. And there it is. It's out. And there's the camshaft. Ready to come out. So I went ahead and put the water pump bolts in there because they're the same size. And apparently you can just start turning this slowly. And pulling it. Yep. It starts coming out. It gets caught every once in a while. And as soon as it does, you pull it out a little bit more, and it just keeps coming up. So I think at this point, what I'm going to do is put the camera down and use both of my hands to get this thing to come out. Uh, I'm also going to remove these bolts because I don't need them anymore and just work on it this way, especially because I have this AC condenser in the way and I'm going to have to figure out how to wiggle it past it. I'm sure it can be done. Okay, cam is out. It only took about a minute. So once you start pulling it out, you're going to have to turn it like everybody says. And uh, just go gently, and once you get to the AC condenser, I'm trying to show you how I have my AC condenser. It's basically pushed back as far as I can, and it hits right here. At that point, I just put the camshaft towards the bottom and took it up. Really, no effort whatsoever. I thought it was going to be a little bit more difficult than that. But yeah. Uh, pretty much, besides the exhaust, 
everything that I needed to have removed has been removed. Uh, so now it's just time to clean this crap off and start installing the new parts. And last but not least, I went ahead and taped off that section as well so nothing falls in there either when I'm cleaning. And as you can see, everything is pretty freaking filthy. So, it's gonna take some time to clean all this mess.